For our meal prep video this week, we are keeping it efficient and effective with a prep that takes only one hour. I do think meal prep in some fashion is going to help most people stay on track, but it doesn't have to mean prepping everything or spending your entire weekend slaving away. All month long, I have been showing dinner meal prep following my three, two, one system. So that is three main ingredients and we create two different meals with the one hour of prep. But today we've got all of that along with lunch and breakfast all being done in one hour. If you spend a few minutes planning ahead, you will save loads of time and money too. I teach effective and efficient meal prepping in my Meal Prep Ignite course. Check it out to learn more at mealprepignite.com. Breakfast today are these easy breakfast bars that only contain five main ingredients. The rest is optional. In a pot over medium heat, add almond butter, honey, and coconut oil. Simmer until thick and integrated about two to three minutes. Then fold in some rolled oats, almond flour, cinnamon, salt, and mixins if you'd like. I went with shredded coconut, pumpkin seeds, and dried blueberries. But get creative and use the mixins that you like. Transfer that mixture to a pan lined with foil and press it into it so it's firm and even. Refrigerate or freeze for at least an hour before slicing into bars. Then you can store them in the fridge for the week or freeze for the month. Oh man, these are salty and sweet and so satisfying. The almond butter keeps them satiating and savory. The honey and those dried blueberries add a natural sweetness that hits the spot at breakfast when I just don't feel like eggs, vegetables, or cooking. I love how versatile this recipe is too. You can switch up the flavors every time you make it. Okay, for lunch we are making these super easy sesame Buddha bowls. This is a plant-based bowl, but you can add chicken or another protein if preferred. Protein is usually the most intensive part of meal prep day, so going meatless for a few meals is a great way to not only help the planet and our bodies, but it also keeps meal prep efficient too. First, I drain and rinse a can of chickpeas and dry them off with paper towels. I add butternut squash, chopped red onion, Brussels sprouts, and chickpeas to baking sheets and toss with oil, salt, and pepper. Simple. Roast that up, and in the meantime, cook your rice. I opted for frozen rice to keep my meal prep fast today. I'm on a time limit here. You just throw it in the microwave and it's good to go. For my sauce, I combined peanut butter or almond butter with sesame oil, soy sauce, honey, lime juice, garlic powder, and ground ginger. Yum. No salt is needed thanks to the soy sauce. Once my sheet pans are out of the oven, I can distribute the rice, veggies, and sauces into my containers to store for the week. I like to store my sauce in a separate container to keep the meal lasting longer, and this also gives you the option to use other sauces to switch up the flavor profiles if you want. The rice is plain, and the veggies are seasoned with only salt and pepper, so you can really go crazy. Barbecue sauce, buffalo, ranch, honey mustard, whatever you like can work here, and it keeps lunch quick too. For dinners this week, we have got a three, two, one dinner using a protein, veggie, and carb as always. Rotisserie chicken, bell peppers, and mangoes? Fruit is a great option for your carbohydrate. It doesn't have to be a grain or a squash. You can switch it up. We are making Mexican chicken chili stuffed peppers and sweet pepper and mango soup so we can have two different kinds of dinners this week. First, I roast up bell peppers for my soup. On the sheet pan and into the oven, they go to broil until blistered. In the meantime, I pull the rotisserie chicken off of the bone. Not having to cook this protein keeps my dinner meal prep quick. But you can also skip the protein completely if needed and use alternatives like beans or tofu. For the Mexican-inspired chili, I saute onion and oil in a saucepan until tender, and then I add the tops of my bell peppers. The rest are for the stuffing, but no need to throw away the tops. I also add mango and black beans and saute for another two minutes. Add a can of diced tomatoes. Canned goods are another way to keep these meals quick. Chili powder, cumin, and salt and pepper. Stir in half of that rotisserie chicken and season the whole mixture to taste as needed. You could use additional beans instead of chicken for a vegetarian or vegan meal. The filling is ready to be stuffed into the peppers and if desired, top it off with cheese. I store mine for the week like this in an oven safe baking dish, but you can also roast them now and then store. Whichever you prefer, dinner is ready to go in a matter of minutes. At least dinner number one, what about that second dinner? Our roasted sweet pepper and mango soup. But first, in case you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I have got more meal prep coming all month long. Okay, back to the soup. Remember those peppers that we added to the oven earlier? It's time to take them out. Once the peppers have blistered, allow them to sit for about 10 minutes and then remove the skins. It is easier to do under running water. 
Then add those to a blender with chopped mango, vegetable broth, and grated ginger, lime juice, rice vinegar, and salt and pepper. Get it nice and smooth, and then transfer to a pot over the stove to heat before stirring in that rotisserie chicken. Now you can totally leave this out and serve it with rice for a plant-based meal. This soup is so tasty, and the best part is that it can be served cold or warm. I like to make a side salad that I can serve with either of these dinners to add another component and to add variety. It is super simple, just Swiss chard, or you could use kale, spinach, or another dark leafy green. All of these last longer than romaine and will last the week. Either way, remove the stems if needed or preferred, and then chop it up. I prefer the taste of Swiss chard to kale. It's less bitter and more mild, similar to spinach, but either is fine. I add it to a bowl lined with paper towels to help keep the leaves from wilting. I toss that with grated Parmesan and slivered almonds, and I store the dressing separately. You can use store-bought or make your own. I made one with olive oil, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. Add to your salad as needed throughout the week. And you've got two different dinners, but also delicious breakfast and lunch options ready to go to keep you on track in a prep that only takes an hour if you plan it out right. I teach you how in my Meal Prep Ignite course, and this year we actually relaunched the program as a 2.0 because we added an application that will calculate your grocery list for you. We are really excited about it. You can check out more at Meal Prep night.com. I hope you found this meal prep helpful. Remember to take what you want and make it your own. The point isn't to replicate what I do here, but to find your way to meal prep and your way to live healthily. We're all different and we've got to learn what works for us to know. I appreciate you being here. More meal prep coming all month long, so stay tuned. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.